We're talking about the police shooting death of 16-year-old Makaya Bryant. Sarah? But police are also in really tough situations where they're approaching something without context. And if someone's life is in danger, they don't have a chance to choose who life is worth this. Da, da. They see a knife. They see someone lunging. And these girls did, girls or women, they, you know, it's hard to tell their age when you're looking at them. Nothing slowed down, even with those sirens pulling up and even those police coming out. It didn't slow them down at all. So I think it's really important to look at these each case by itself, because when we potentially group all this into one narrative, we stand to remain with the same problem. If we misidentify what these situations are, we're not going to solve the ones that really need that attention. Uh, you're probably right, but I will say, I just want to give some context in terms of what we've been told so far. The girl called the police because a whole group of girls followed her back to her foster home. She also called her mother and her grandfather, I think, to come to help her. She went outside with a knife to fight the girls off. 16-year-olds are do dumb stuff, OK? They think they can take care of stuff. Now, they're not thinking, oh, the cops are not going to know I'm the one that called. Nobody's going to know that because there's much going on. The fight is happening apparently up from where the two people are standing at the car. So he says he, she was lunging. My question is, OK, is there a way for people not to shoot first? I mean, we saw, we, we've heard somebody say, you know, well, there are tasers. Why didn't they tase them? Or, you know, the whole thing about all of this and what LeBron wrote was there will be, you know, your next accountability. I think what he was saying is, you're going to have to explain this. And in a way, you are going to have to explain it because just like, uh, I think Sonny was saying, talking about Kyle Rittenhouse. They do act differently sometimes, the police, with white people than they do with black people. You know, he was carrying a gun. He was carrying a shotgun. Now, I couldn't do that down the street. So people are making assessments all the time. So the real, the real thing, I think, to take away from all of this is the police have done the right thing. They have said, OK, we're going to investigate this. And we now, as society, are going to hold them to it. Because you shouldn't be able to shoot anyone dead and not have to explain it in front of everyone. That's what's happening. That's what the George Floyd uh, outcome should be, is that you have to be accountable for what you do as a police officer. You just have to be accountable. They haven't been oftentimes because you can run down a list of names. But now we say, listen, there are some times when they need to tell us what's going on. And no, you can't know everything when you roll up. But if you pull that weapon out and shoot somebody, accountability should be everything. Because that has to protect all of us, black, brown, yellow, orange, green. Everybody should be protected, including the officer, if the officer is innocent. So it's important, accountability. I don't think LeBron was being rude. I think he was just saying, OK, here's another time for, for talking.